I thought the first half was evenly balanced. It didn't really get going. Second half, it was it was a good game, open game. Um, we seemed to attack. They attacked. Our attacking was 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 by clever play. We we kept getting done by one long ball at a couple of times. I think Westies had to pull a couple of saves off. But the disappointing thing is again, you're going to talk to me about a penalty decision. I think that's three three last three games where we haven't had the rub of the green. But that one today is a stonewall penalty. If you, if you see the reaction from my players, you see the reaction from the Sheffield Wednesday fans behind the goal. And then to book him as well, I just can't believe it. And I've looked at back, it, it's, it's a stonewall penalty. The assistant was well placed, he was on this side as well, so he would have had a good look at that one too. So between them, you would expect the right decision to be made, wouldn't you? Well, that's what you just hit the nail on the head. You want the right decisions, you want the big decisions at the moment. We're not getting them. No, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. At the end of the day, I thought we had two or three more opportunities to get our noses in front. The ball seemed to be bobbling around their six-yard box and we just want somebody to stick it in the back of the net. Stevie May's been unlucky with his challenge and I think Royston, great shot at the end with a good save from the keeper. But we've got to keep believing and keep, well, at the end of the day, um, we've another clean sheet. <laughs> but we haven't scored. But like I just said to the players there, people will throw out this negativity again that we haven't scored. But today is, is when, you, when you want the decision to go for you, when it's, when it's a probably stonewall penalty. And again, I'm, I, I just cannot believe how they can get that wrong.